Hey guys, I'm just working with a little something here for the Goggles X users now. Being as we all receiving them, now I'm getting the updates. Um, I made like a little ground station because I don't want to modify my goggles in any kind of way um, unless I have to. Uh, talking about the overheating issues, I don't know about all that. Mine's not doing it yet. Um, so I think everything's going to be good there. Um, I was going to fly four different drones with a little video on it and show you the little stand as I got it like a little ground station and I'm going to be making some of these and I'll probably post them up um, sometime to get the prints out but I'm just still doing a little modification on it I got it set up where to hold the phone and so I can do some screen recording with USB camera pro app um, but it's just a lot of little things on here but I'll show you and you can check it out all right, so what we got here is it's just set up with a Shark Bite HD Zero. Um, we got a little solar panel right here that supplies power to the VRXs and the analog module. We got a rapid fire on this side um, with the little aerial systems patch antenna right here and the regular one I know. Um, these are some fairly good antennas, I believe. Uh, and the Shark Bite unit has the MK2s on it for patches. But this little thing's made. I mean, I guess if you're flying with a buddy and they need to spin around and point this thing at your drone, they can. Um, but, and I got me some little straps down here to hold my analog wire, my USB cable with the capture card for the phone. Um, USB micro USB to micro USB for the VRX on the HD zero and I think it's a pretty nice setup uh, still playing with it I got like little adjustable things right here when you set your phone in for different size phones so it'll squeeze in and out to tighten up on it to hold it up here and that way spectators can watch too I don't recommend flying with it though because as I tried it one time it's just too much uh, latency for me but I'm gonna be flying Racer X, X Racer X FPV drone this one's got HD zero in it with a V2 and a nano cam nano 90 and this one right here is a walk snail V1 see I got the dual antennas on there it's on a Racer X 4 inch now I got my analog here little crux 3.5 little nice little setup fun little toy um, all right guys so i got this thing set up now um as you can see i got analog got my hd zero on the video in feed i got my capture card and the micro usb to the capture card which is going to plug into my phone with the usb camera pro app when i get done here and set up um and i'm gonna have my little phone snapped up here ready to go right now i know people ain't gonna be using all this at one time but uh it's just nice to have a setup like this and not modify your goggles but i'm gonna put it in there and get the video feed i'm gonna be doing a screen recording on a note 20 plus through the usb camera app and that turns out real well and we're just gonna run through the systems and let you see it um, this is all up to the new updated firmware 36.4 um, I believe it is um, it's the latest one but we're gonna check it out and hope everything goes well hope my solar panel here you know it's got a little button on there where you push down and hold and it comes on and it runs 12 volt and you can just check your power and you hold it down and press it and turn it off again so you can cut off your modules with it um, I tried to find some more of these I have two but I wasn't able to find them I bought these for deer cameras out in the woods this is the Racer X Newton 4 inch on the V1 VTX um, clear video good video a little, little bit of listen and play
All right, here's my second go around on analog. This camera is not the correct lens in here. That's why you see the crazy colors, but I uh, fly it like that all the time. So you can see the breakup right here, 25 milliwatt behind the truck, doesn't work too well. Alright, now we're going to play with a little HD0 on there. Um, see how well that goes. This is the little 5 inch on there with the V2 and the Nano 90 cam. Let me see this thing. I've got this HD0 has got pretty good color on these goggles um, running in there. I just love the shadows and how it looks. Just great video. So I decided not to record or put the recording up from the Armont Beaver with the V2 VTX um, and the Pro Cam. It was probably the best video, but somebody called in on top of it and messed up the recording, so I just gave up on that one. Uh, we'll put that one up some other time.